Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Core Keeper. So we are finally going to take on the Hive Mother, Hive Mother and uh, power up this core. So let's just get straight to it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is figure out where she is. So you can see we've explored a bit of the map. Now she's going to be down in this area, down in the clay caves where the larvae are. And uh, so one way we can kind of pinpoint her location, <coughs> excuse me, is by using this uh, Hive Mother scanner. It scans the world for the Hive Mother consumed on successful scan. So the way you get one of these is after we defeated Glurch the Abominous Mass, we have some options to craft some things. So this is really useful. So this is why Glurch uh, should be your first boss that you fight and typically is um, in terms of difficulty and uh, the first one you'll find because he's relatively close to your uh, starting location. Let's get back to the Hive Mother. So we have this Hive Mother scanner right here. We crafted it. Uh, it's uh, five ancient gemstones and five mechanical parts. So we have that. So we're going to go ahead and use that. See, click on it, and then right here you have your little icon to right-click. Now this is going to go ahead and scan for the Hive Mother, and then we'll find her location. So now you can see it's basically sending out sonar. Even on our mini-map up here, you can't really see it. Let me uh, move out of the way here. Go down there. So now you can see up on the mini-map right here, the Hive Mother's location. If we bring up our full map we can see that she's actually over here on the uh, the west side of the core. So we're going to go ahead and figure out where she is, get over there and get set up, and then we'll uh, show you guys how we take her down. So we'll be right back. All right, I just want to show you guys really quickly what we've had to do so far. So going from our base, we can't went west, and we tried to come up north over here. There's a big canyon that we had to dig across. So we dug up some ground, built a path. And you see we go across here. This is part of the path where Gorm will uh, go around the map, and then we get over here into the uh, the outer clay caves. And you can see you kind of have a build a path the way you want to go uh, find some openings and I just want to show you real quick we're getting pretty close to her but I want to show you real quick some of the damages or some of the uh, the traps and stuff that you'll come across some of the en enemies so you see spike traps there'll be these spike traps everywhere and maybe you've seen some of the uh, the regular larva these orange larva are a little bit stronger so they hit a little harder but uh, you can still take him out. So just be cautious when you're coming through here. There's going to be a lot of the uh, the little hive traps with these little larvae in there. And you can see now we're over here at the, uh, the hive mother. So we're going to go ahead and clear this area out. And I'll show you guys all this chrysalis right here on the ground. Dig this up. Because that's what these insects are going to spawn. Or the enemies, rather, are going to spawn from the larva. And uh, some of the other guys. So there's all this acid on the ground that you're going to want to clear up. Um, all this chrysalis right here. Now, some of this stuff you can't dig up, like these little ones right here, because that's when the battle with the Hive Mother starts. Uh, these are going to spawn eggs in which the, um, the little larva and the big larva are going to spawn from. And you'll have to deal with them as you're fighting her. Now, for her herself, she's stationary. She'll just sit right there. And you can see her little uh, blowhole on the top there. She's going to be spouting out acid as we fight her, so... I'm going to go ahead and get this area cleared cleared up a little bit, and then uh, we'll jump into the fight and show you guys how to take her down, and uh, then we'll go get that core powered up. So we'll be right back. All right, so now we are ready to take on the Hive Mother. You can see what we've done here, and this is just something I did. Uh, it helps for the uh, the ads. Now, you can build around them and kind of cheese it, or you can build a, uh, a trench all the way around, too, and stay on the outside of it and just use a uh, ranged weapon, but that's pretty cheesy. And if you guys want to do that, I mean, more power to you. No worries. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. We're going to melee it and uh, try to take these guys out. So we have our standard iron armor here. So that's the best iron we can get. Or the best armor we can have right now aside from uh, until after we power the core and uh, explore further. Now we have the uh, health items right here. So we have a necklace, a heartberry necklace. We're going to get 0.7 health every second. And then two clot rings. So we're going to get plus six life on every melee hit. So... We're going to be taking a lot of damage, and hopefully every time uh, that we actually attack, we're going to be counteracting that uh, the damage that we take. Um, our weapons, we have a flintlock musket. We might not use it. If things do get hairy, we can kind of run over here outside of this trench or in between the walls and uh, use that musket. But other than that, the other thing we're using is the battle axe. Now, this is going to do more damage. It's a little bit slower, but it's going to give us that plus 17.6 melee damage, so we're going to hit harder. And with these mobs that are going to spawn from these little uh, holes right here, we're going to try to take them out as fast as we can. So typically you'll have the eggs come up and they'll start pulsating. If you can go hit those with the battle axe, it'll take them out before the little larvae spawn. Now obviously trying to manage five of these and try to hit the hive mother at the same time is going to be a little bit difficult, but we're going to do our best with that. 
So we're going to be using the battle axe basically. Um, the food that we have is some crunchy mushroom soup. So we're going to have the plus 23 armor, 4.2 health every second for 20 seconds. And then on top of that, we're going to have the gooey pepper wrap. So 21% movement speed because we want to be able to move around a lot faster. 2.8 health. So we're actually getting 7 health every second for 20 seconds if we eat that. And the uh, country mushroom soup. And then plus 6% critical chance for uh, 2 minutes. And uh, then we have our healing potions, obviously. So we're going to be trying to pop those off as well. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, move this stuff a little bit closer. That way I'm not... Um, going back and forth between my buttons that way I can just hit them right here so hopefully that uh, will make it a little bit easier so one thing real quick I wanted to show you guys before we take her on so this whole area is littered with these little rooms like this with chests and they can have some really good loot grub necklace clot rings um, you can get larva armor or a larva helmet which when you put that uh, set on it disguises you as a larva and allows you to just go around the larva without getting hit um, now you can't use that on the hive mother. I've tested it. You cannot use the larva armor When you're around larva and you have that armor on it will not let you attack them. You can't attack the larva You can't attack the hive mother. So um, If you tried and thought about doing that just let you know ahead of time you can't do that So we've got our stuff ready. We're gonna go ahead and get this battle started So we're gonna eat our foods and then go to town Here we go. Now we'll see she's gonna shoot acid out as you're hitting her now we see an egg hatching over here. Now you don't want to get hit with that. That acid on contact. It's fine if you walk through it. It's not going to do much damage. But basically you just go around in a clockwise motion or counterclockwise. And deal with these eggs as much as you can. See the ads aren't too bad if you get ahead of them. Now these ones over here are going to spawn. Those are the big ones. Take them out relatively easy. And just as you're moving around, avoid the acid as much as you can. So they don't spawn. You see now they're starting to spawn a little quicker. But we should be fine. And there we go. Just like that. Not too difficult if you plan enough and uh, just get a pattern going. You can see her pattern. And you see we only had to use a few potions and uh, we only ate our food once. So really easy uh, fight. As long as you stay uh, stay calm and stay patient, don't get overwhelmed. Don't let the ads overwhelm you, basically. That's one of the big things I think a lot of people do is they see the ads. And then uh, they're just sitting there still trying to um, handle the hive mother by themselves without focusing on them. I'm going to light this place up a little bit so we can see. Now let's see. We've got uh, the hive mother's chest. And we didn't get any really good loot. We got a grub necklace, grub egg necklace, which we already have. And then some other stuff. But we got the heart of the high mother and some uh, larva meat. So not too bad. We also get her chest as a uh, little sign there. We'll go ahead and plant our stamp on her thing. We're going to go ahead and teleport back to the core. And then I'll show you guys how to power up the core. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the high mother, the heart of the high mother in here. And you can see now we've unlocked some new items. A larva spike club, a grub zooka, and an ancient hologram pod. So this is going to be your third NPC, basically, which um, he's he's not going to sell you anything. What he's going to do is guide you to where the next boss is and the next um, and the next biome. So now we're going to go ahead and talk to the high mother or talk to the core. Thou have awakened us and make sure you go through the whole dialogue. Never have we seen a creature like thee. There once was a thriving civilization here, but all of it seems lost. We must have been dormant for aeons. We wonder. They send that out, still keep talking. We must ask something of thee. Seek the ancient titans still roaming beyond the Great Wall. 
Destroy them and collect their souls. With their energy, we can restore what once was. In return, thou shalt be able to go back to where thee came from. With the power we now imbue in thee, the great wall shall open as thou lay a hand upon it. So once you get that now, maybe you've come across this wall that surrounds the uh, the entire area here. So there is, when you go far enough, you can see a little piece down here. There's this green wall down here that's impenetrable. You can't use anything to break it. Now that we've defeated the three bosses and powered up the core, the core has given us this power. So now we just go up to that uh, barrier, put your hand on it. So basically press E at the wall and that whole wall will come down exposing the new biome, which will be Ezios's wilderness. So one quick thing we're going to do is go grab our uh, 10 ancient gemstones and 10 mechanical parts. And we're going to power this guy up. All right, we've got those. So we're going to go ahead and make this. Got that. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this guy right here. There we go. So now we have this guy. Now we talk to him. So what he's going to do is give you this scanner for the next boss. So you need five ancient gemstones, five mechanical parts, and 10 ancient feathers. So to do that, you'll have to actually go to the new biome, which is going to be Ezios's wilderness. And then uh, this right here will show you how to summon Ezios once you get to him. So make the scanner, go over there, explore, collect resources, make the scanner, find out where he is. Then you'll need this large, shiny, glimmering object crafted to go put it where he is. And that'll summon the uh, Ezios, the Sky Titan, and then you get to fight him. So that's all we got for this video, guys. Hopefully it was extremely helpful to take down the Hive Mother and get you guys set on your next path of going to the wilderness. Um, if it was, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join the community and stick around for more Core Keeper videos coming soon. With that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and as always, stay original, my friends. Later.